Hey everybody, welcome back. Just a quick update and a congratulations to Nova. She won second place in the Instructables contest. Yay! Alright, so um, I've made a couple of major updates, which I know some of you are going to panic over, but I'll make another video later explaining there's nothing to panic about. But somebody, or two people, had suggested to go with a Teensy in place of the Arduino Mega. And guess what, guys? What a difference that makes. First of all, I squared C problems are solved because first this has three separate I C I squared C buses. I am got away with only using two because the third you actually have to solder onto really small pads in the bottom and I didn't feel like mucking with that. So my MPU unit and the slave are on one channel, working awesome which I'll show you guys in a sec, and then the PWM controller, the motor controller, is on its own. So I have no more glitches, no more hiccups, no more anything with all sensors running at once, which again, I'll show you in a sec. Um, so yes, we'll get into that <clears throat> in another video when I'm done wiring it up. Really, all I have left to do with this Teensy is a little bit of power management. It does not have a reset button, so I have to wire up an on-off button instead. And then, um, yeah, I have to learn how to power this and make any adjustments I need to because it's not a 5 volt device, it's a 3.3 volt device. It can still take up to 5.6, I think, for power, so I think we'll be alright without having to add any more regulators or anything. Okay, and then next, so I'll show you how that works really good in a second. I just wanted to show this first. So I'm working on a new shoulder design adding this piece on here which I'll also show in greater detail later I want to try and keep my videos short because I noticed the average watch time is only two minutes so I'm making 30 minute videos for one or two people so anyhow uh, yeah so I'm working on this new piece it's almost there it needs a slight adjustment I think my bearing needs to just rest onto this piece to really close this up tight but boy has it made this so much stronger there's no play in here now my servos are not screwed in so yes you will see a little bit of play if i pull hard but let me tell you matter of fact let me show you it's going to really 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 make her walking gates much more stable so i don't know if i will go ahead and do this on this build because it's going to require disassembling all four legs. But it's something I'm going to continue to work on. Because as I've explained in many of my videos, this joint right here is the most weak, weakest point we have to deal with because there's no bearing on this side. So this loosens up really fast. That's why I suggest using Loctite in there. And But even with that, that eventually becomes loose. And now if it becomes loose, it's not going to go anywhere because the bearing and pin is still going to hold it nice and straight and sturdy. I keep trying to move this by hand, but realizing it's powered up, so I can't. <laughs> so anyway, guys, yeah, that's enough of that. Let me show you how the performance has improved in our project now. Okay, guys, so here is an example of how the Teensy is actually performing so much better than the Mega. So right now, yes, you can't see this on the screen, but I have the ultrasonic sensors working and registering beautifully. I have my PIR sensors active, and I'm going to put her in follow mode right now. The MPU unit, as I explained, is not active at the moment, but that's okay. <coughs> you can see our new leg is alive as well down there. So right now she's in follow mode. Okay, she's going forward, and you know what? Let's drive her at her fastest speed, too. I mean, that's a huge improvement right there, guys. So, yeah, right now, the follow is picking us up on this PIR sensor. And meanwhile, the ultrasonic sensor is still going, and I'll be quiet for a minute, and you won't hear a glitch in her. No matter how much I set off sensors or not, she's running smoothly. Now, if I stand perfectly still, she should stop. There we go. And then, of course, I can set her off again. So, I have to say, teensy wins, guys. I know that's going to annoy some of you who already started to build this, but I'll explain in the next 
what's involved in making this block. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Next time stay tuned and I will go over all of the wiring changes and such to support the updated new version of Nova now we're going to have to call her. I think I'm going with 4.3 and she'll be using the new Teensy. Uh, I don't know much about these guys but I'm sure you could use an older version too as long as it has the pins to support and preferably at least two I squared C buses. This is all new to me, so you'll be learning with me as I go, guys, for those of you who aren't familiar. For the guys who did suggest this, thank you so much. I, Dummy me, I didn't take note of your name so that I could give you straight-up kudos, but I appreciate the advice because it's going to make a world of difference, and we're going to be able to really have some fun with sensors and following and walking gates and all that fun stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.